God will never fail. He cannot fail. And if you believe what God said, you won't fail either. Uh -uh, that's right. And sickness won't have dominion over you. You can overcome it. You'll have to overcome it by the Word of God. And if you won't take that Word and into yourself and begin to, to see what God said about it, because it's about you, then you may just have to go on. God won't be able to do anything. I hope you're listening today. Praise God. And some people have just, you know... <laughs> Let's just take God's Word and, and take it into our hearts, get it before our eyes, and, and listen to what those words say to you. And believe them. Now, if you believe, if you can get it in your heart and that I am the healed, just like the Bible teaches us throughout, I don't care what these people are saying. It, it don't matter to me. If you could get that in your heart, get it right in here till you believe it, the devil will not be able to steal your health. You'll overcome him. Are you hearing me? Now, the Bible tell, tells us to submit ourselves to God and resist the devil and he'll flee from you. Now, what's he going to flee from? He'll flee from the Word of God that's in your mouth. And He told you to resist Him. So there have been a lot of people just praying that God would resist Him. No, God's not going to do it. It's, 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 up to, it's up to you. And you resist the devil. And, and the Bible says He'll flee from you. That's true too. <laughs> Man, that's true. And that'd be good news to a person that needs the devil to flee from them. To resist Him. Well, you, to resist him. Again, you can't live here and expect this. You can't live here and expect this. You can't live outside of the word and expect the word to work for you. Can't do it. Are you hearing? Because he set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I'll set him on high because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I'll answer him. <laughs> I'll, and I will be with him in trouble. Oh, yeah. now, see, some people says, well, if you're in the will of God, you know. Ah, I hope we've got over that by now. Surely experience has told us nothing else. Experience has told us different. Okay? There have been a plenty of people that's went through troubles. Plenty of good people, godly people that's went through troubles. But God was with us. Are you hearing? Yes, Talking about resisting the devil and he'll flee from you. Well, he ain't pleasant any time. The devil's going to get around, is it? All right, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. I will honor him, God said. He that has set his love upon me and that dwells in the secret place, dwells with me and dwells in my word. He said, I'll honor him. Glory to God. I'll honor him. Boy, ain't that something now. Yeah. What about God honoring you? Yeah. What about Almighty God saying, I'll honor you? Yeah. No wonder. He said, when, when you call upon me, I'll answer I honor you. And he said, with long life I'll satisfy you. Him, long, with long life I'll satisfy him and show him my salvation. That him is that person, as we said, dwelling in the secret place, yes. saying of the Lord, dwell there enough to know that God, who God is and say, now I can, oh yeah, oh yeah, I can say he's my refuge. Yes. Say so he's my fortress. Yeah. He's my God. I'll trust in him. See, you dwell there till, till you come to this conclusion that God is God and God can watch over me and protect me and take care of me. And then he goes on to say these things. He said, if it comes to it, a thousand shall fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. He said, but I'll watch over you. I'll protect you. 
Amen. I believe that. And the, and the reason that a lot of people have been took out is because if we, if we won't live in this place, we're unsensitive to the voice of God. We're, we're, we're insensitive to the Holy Spirit. But if you live in this place, you'll be sensitive enough to hear something. To hear. To hear. To hear what God would say to you. You may, and if you live in this place, you can pick up on those impressions, or you can pick up you can you can pick up on on something inside that you can hear, and it'll be the Holy Spirit telling you something. It may be Him guiding you around something, or telling you something altogether different. But see, if you live in a place to where you can't hear this and you can't be sensitive to that, you're subject. You're subject to these other things.